talk about subject now, okay? So subject is the agent or doer of the sentence, okay? Anything that does action of the sentence, understand? Anything which does the action of the sentence. It could be a person or it could be a thing. So subject is usually made of noun and noun phrases, okay? So you may ask what noun is, right? Noun is, uh, or a simple definition of noun is that noun is as a word, any word, for a person, place, and thing, okay? We use it to name things. For example, apple, the howder, right? They are all what? Nouns. And noun phrase. A noun phrase is a group of words which include adjectives, adverbs, gerunds, infinitive, relative clauses, prepositions, and most importantly, nouns. Understood? So, noun phrase is a combination of words which includes adjectives, adverbs, gerunds, relative clauses, prepositions, and most importantly, nouns. We will talk about noun phrase in the examples so that you will understand better. All right, guys, let's start with subject today. Uh, as I told you about subject can be made of a noun, right, or noun phrases. So let's see some examples for subject uh, being made of just a noun, okay, to understand it better. So let's see, let's read the first, the first sentence. They have been learning math for many years. There is subject here. They, right? She hates eating apples when she gets to bed. We got two subjects here, right? Because it's a compound sentence. So I will teach you what compound is later. So she, right, uh, is subject here. And one more she is what? Shall subject here. So dogs bark a lot in the middle of the night. So what? Uh, dogs, right? Dogs is a subject of the sentence. I think it's just, this part should be easy peasy, right? So if you want to ask some questions, right, you, you have to just put who, right, for people. I've been learning blah 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 a question mark okay uh, so f here the same thing but what who hates eating blah 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 and dogs right what right because it's not living it's, it's not a person so you have to use what for this the same case in our mother tongue, right? In our mother tongue, we use what for animals, for non-living things, but we use who for people, okay? That's why we just use it this one. All right. So here, what? And they are, so here, who and what are the questions of uh, noun or subject? Okay, understood. Are we clear here? All right. So now let's see some examples for a subject being made of noun phrases. So as I told you above, noun phrase is a combination of words, including adjectives, adverbs, right, verbs, uh, relative clauses, etc. Okay, prepositions. So there are different forms of uh, noun phrases. So let's try to learn the most uh, basic ones. Okay. So the first type of noun phrase we got here is article plus noun, which is the most simple uh, type of noun phrase. So let's see the examples one by one. The boys are going to have a big party tomorrow evening. So very subject here. We got article the right, and we got the what? Boys noun. So it's these two are what subject of the sentence. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Very subject here. An apple a day, right? Next one, the buildings. So we got the article the, then we got the noun buildings. They are what? Sub noun phrase. Understood? Are we clear the first one? Next type of uh, noun phrase we got is here uh, article plus adjective plus noun. So we got the adjective here, which is describing this noun. Okay? So the pretty flowers are from your dad. So we got the article pretty. Uh, the, we got the adjective pretty, then we got the flower, which is noun, right? So a wooden desk, which would, uh, a wooden desk would be an ideal choice as a gift. So we got the article A, we got the adjective wooden, and we got the noun desk, 
they are all what's noun phrase and they are all is a subject of the sentence so the broken laptop is what noun phrase so next type of uh, noun phrase we got uh, is article plus noun plus preposition plus noun is equal to noun phrase okay so article right noun preposition and then noun and noun phrase let's see the legs of the dog have been hurt when you threw some stones at it. So we got the, the article here, right? And now the legs, which is noun, of, which is preposition, the, article, dog, noun, right? They are all what? Subject of the sentence. So you have to be careful here because uh, you may ask why um, we are using like have, plural, uh, verb form right so so while uh, choosing the while choosing singular or plural verb you should uh, you should look at the left side of the noun phrase okay if it's like plural you have to use plural verb if it's singular then you have to use singular verb okay do not look at the right side look at the left side of the noun phrase okay so the people with much money can buy whatever they want, right? There is a main, very subject here, people with much money, right? So here's, here the people is plural, that's why we are using what? Plural verb. So next one, the students in this class are having the preparation for their exams, or for the exams. So the students in this room, right? So we got the article the. We got the student's noun, and we got the preposition in, and we got this room is what? One more noun. So they are all what? Noun phrase. Understood? So using noun phrases while writing essay is really important, okay? Which will help you to make your essay more understandable 